So I and probably you are getting tired of querying just ints as much fun as it is to make some random numbers and type them in. That can get a little old. So I want to switch over to doing some actual data and I'm going to use the Northwind database which is an older database made by Microsoft long ago for tutorial purposes and now they have the AdventureWorks database which is wonderful and big and much better and more modern but to be honest to learn most of Link, almost everything in Link, we don't need to go that big and bold. We can just do it using the Northwind database and so that's what I'm going to do. You can see here in this entities file I have this customers class or customer class and what I'm doing behind the scenes I'm using some code that I'm not going to show you quite yet but I'm basically using the entity framework to pull out customer objects from the Northwind database. I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio here. If you're not familiar with SQL or databases, I'm going to watch my set of SQL videos uh, to get comfortable with all that. But basically, I can type in here select splat from customers. Okay, and I run that by hitting F5. And here's all the customer information. The customer has a customer ID, company name, contact name, and a whole bunch of other data. I'm um, using the entity framework. Uh, right now I only am pulling the customer ID column, the contact name, the company name, and the country. Okay? So there's a bunch of pixie dust, Tinkerbell magic going on in the background. I just want to shield you away from that for now. Just know that the entity framework will pull one row, or several, it'll, it'll pull every row, but it will map every row to an instance of these customer objects. So that's going to make our queries much more interesting, fun, more applicable, more real world. So let me just show you a little bit how I'm going to use this var uh, customers. I can just say gets, uh, I think I call it db. Yep, db dot, oh, and of course I didn't make it public. Let me go make it public. Okay, db dot customers. And uh, let's just iterate over this first of all for each, and uh, customers here is actually, if I hover over this, you can see I've made it an innumerable of those customer uh, objects I just showed you. So I could, just, instead of saying var, I could say, uh, I could quit being lazy and say I innumerable customer. And then um, down here I can say for each customer, C in customers. Console right line. Well, let's let's do a few things here. Console right line. C dot contact name. Um, console right line. What I'm doing there is hitting typing C W and hitting tab and then tab again and that brings up the console right line. C dot mm, company name and let's do another one. C dot country. Uh, I could I guess I could do all four for good measure, but I'm gonna. Put a blank line in here as well so you can see the separation. So build this, run it. It takes a little sec to uh, connect to the database, but there you go. You can see I'm pulling the customer information. Okay, uh, the same as what we've seen in the in the table back here. In fact, just to show you that the data is the same, let me show you another uh, method or extension method. They call, they're called operators. But really, it's, I guess they, whoever deemed that these link things should be called operators, I don't know, because they're just extension methods that do things. But I'm going to take, let's just take the first four or five. If I mistype, that's fine. Take the first five customers, print out their information here. And there's no real guarantee of, or, guarantee of orders. Order, since I didn't say an order by, but we have Maria Ander, Anders, Anna, Trulia, so so forth, so on and so forth. So if you look here, Maria Anders is the record. Uh, con company name is Alfred's. I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but that's the same values we're getting here. So you can see that the data, the first five rows here, uh, were returned over into our code and ended up over here. And that's all done by the magic of the entity framework. And uh, the entity framework is like another step into the link world. The first set of videos, or the link videos I'm I'm doing in this set, are just basically link as is, or it's called link to objects, but I kind of like to think of it as intro to link, or link fundamentals would be good, and then we can move on to the entity framework later. But anyway, I just want you to 
be comfortable now that we have some real data. We're going to query some some more realistic data uh, to further our understanding of uh, language integrated query.